Unit 3, Culture Shock. Unit 3, Culture Shock. Find out. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Ken Ichi, Japanese, age 21. I spent my third year of high school in Orlando, Florida, on a study abroad program. I was excited when I first arrived. Later, though, I became stressed because so much was new and unfamiliar. The food was different, and I didn't have any friends. I couldn't keep up with conversations in English. Also, I needed to learn to speak up more. One day at a party, the host offered me something to drink. I said no, even though I was thirsty. I thought he would insist, but he didn't. This taught me to say what I want. There were a lot of differences in communication like that. After a month, I was really depressed. To try to get over culture shock, I decided to get to know my homestay family better and make at least one friend in school. Eventually, my English improved, and I made several good friends. When I came back to Japan, I stood out because I had picked up certain habits from Americans. For example, how I dressed. I'm glad I went to Florida because I learned that I could be flexible and adapt. If you go abroad, just remember that sometimes you might feel down, but things get easier as time goes by. Listen in. What two pieces of advice does Vincent give to people visiting Paris for the first time? Listen and check the advice. If you ever visit Paris, you may find that some things are less convenient than in your country. For example, there are only a few vending machines and big rental video stores in Paris. Also, most businesses are closed in the evenings, so you have to shop during the day. In the evenings, French people often go out with their friends or family. So if you live in Paris, you should go out to a sidewalk cafe or restaurant in the evenings instead of watching videos at home. Oh, you need to know greetings. Don't be surprised if someone kisses you on both cheeks. And handshakes. We often shake hands even with friends that we see every day. Also, you should greet shopkeepers and store clerks. If not, you will seem rude. Just say bonjour. They will be friendlier to you. Finally, even if you don't speak French well, why don't you try learning at least a little? It's good to bring a phrase book and learn a few words before you come. People will talk to you more and you will make friends much faster. I think making friends is the most important thing for getting along in a new country. Find out more. Read the passage, then answer the questions. Janet Bennett, an intercultural researcher and trainer, is an expert on culture shock. Her career started in 1968 when she experienced powerful culture shock as a Peace Corps volunteer in Micronesia. Janet and a group of other volunteers lived on separate islands. She says, it was terrible because we didn't know culture shock existed. Everything was just the opposite from what we knew. All of us on our separate islands thought we were going crazy. Then we got together and found out that we were experiencing the same thing. Then someone mentioned the term culture shock. According to Janet, the longer we stay abroad, the more different the culture, and the deeper our relationships with people, the greater the chance of having culture shock. 
Also, modern communication technology doesn't take away culture shock. Patience and flexibility are the keys to overcoming it. These days, Janet does research and intercultural training. Learning to adapt to Micronesia started a learning process that continues even today. Unit 3. Wrap up. What have you learned about culture shock in this unit? Write your ideas and then tell a classmate. Use these questions to help you. What are some things that cause stress in a new culture? What do you think would make you stressed in a new culture? How can you try to get over culture shock? What can happen when you come back to your native country? What can you learn about yourself by experiencing culture shock? Do you think you would have a hard time with culture shock? Why or why not? Have you ever experienced culture shock? If so, how did you get over it? What advice would you give a person if they just moved to your country? What is the key to overcoming culture shock?